In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. He said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. take something that is demonic and you want to slap the name of Jesus on it when Jesus ain't going to show up and bless your stuff you know I, I mean for me if I, if I was a pastor and I'm going to do uh, a celebration on October 31st I would do a play to show how the evil and the dark side of what Halloween is and how is it that you need to come to the, to the cross of Jesus Christ for your salvation I got married on Halloween I had a demonic wedding Halloween I, I mean, we talk about animal rituals, we talk about blood sacrifices, and Halloween I had a demonic wedding because that is the devil's holiday. So, so I'm, I'm talking to you for 25 years that I celebrated Halloween as a devil worshiper. I'm, I'm not talking to you from secondhand situations. So the, one of the reasons Halloween is, it's, it is you making soul ties, you making legal, you letting the devil own legal rights in your life. You can, even as a Christian, you can say I'm a Christian and I love God, but you're cheating on him on Halloween. When you dress up for Halloween, when you dress up for this demonic holiday, you can dress as an angel, you can dress as like a little mermaid, you can dress as, you know, Casper the Friendly Ghost. When you dress up, you're giving the devil legal rights to change your identity. Another demonic reason, Anton Levain was a person, he was a he, he was the priest of the Church of Saint out in California. And, and he, he was a devil worshiper for many, many, many years. He had 8,000 people in his church when he started. I'm not even going to call it church, his demonic building. And one of the quotes that he quoted, he said, I want to thank every Christian parent for allowing their children at least one time a year to celebrate my holiday. And this is coming from the devil's mouth. So another reason celebrating Halloween is such a, uh, I would say, I would say it's such an eternal mistake. It's because you not only cursing yourself and you opening your doors to devils, whether you then that means not, the devil doesn't own you. If you marry and you're celebrating Halloween, the devil owns your marriage. He owns your children, he owns your house, he owns your finances. That means he owns real estate in your life because you have opened the door to the devil one time of the year. I don't see how Christians want to be part of darkness. I don't see, one of the, another reason, I, 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 it's like saying, I don't see Satanist people saying, hey, John, Good Friday is coming. Can I come to your church? Could I come celebrate Good Friday with you? Because, you know, I, that's the right thing to do. I, I, am, I think that I should go there and celebrate the, 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 the finished work of the cross, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I want to be part of that. I don't, hear them, I don't hear Satanists, you know, packing our churches on Good Friday. I don't see that. So why, well, why are we running and celebrating something that the Satanists are, are laughing at us? Another reason I see, I see, I don't know. I think that the, the whole key of, of Halloween is the demonic, the rituals, the celebration, uh, the, 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 the music. Every when you go to club house party, or even even sometimes we take Halloween and we take we bring it into our churches. We dress people up as Noah. We dress people up as Abraham. But it, 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 is that really God? Is, is is that really in the Bible? I mean, I understand you say we celebrate harvests. Yeah, well, hoppers are so. I don't need pumpkins in my house. Pumpkins ain't gonna get me to heaven. And me putting pumpkins in my door and candles in my door, it's like me putting food in my door, but I don't want stray dogs to come to my door. When you put pumpkins in your door and you put you put candles and you put candles or you put these kind of, you dress up your house in Halloween, you call yourself a Christian, really? The reality of it, you telling the devil, you got legal rights over my house because I dressed it up, I made a contract with you, and now you're more than welcome to come into my house. That means you grieve the Holy Spirit, you grieve the things of God, you grieve your walk with God and everything that God has for you, every blessing that God has for you, every opportunity God has for you. You just cancel your assignment. But I'm gonna tell you from the devil, ex-devil worship for 25 years. You know, a lot of these candies that you you give your kids and you buy in the stores in Halloween, they are prayed for. These candies are prayed for over the demonic people have prayed over these candies. They know what they're doing. They pray over these costumes. They know what they're doing. I mean, I live in the city, my hand, right? And they, and they rent the store, right? Every year, they rent the store. You know how much the rent in that store costs for the month of, 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 of October for them to sell costume? $30,000 a month. 
How is it they got this kind of money to rent a store to sell costumes? These costumes are prayed for, they're demonic. And if you have open door to your children on this situation, on this demonic situation, circumstance, or celebration, or a holiday, what they call a holiday, I call it demonic. If you have opened your door and you today, you see that your kid has wavered, your kids have left the things of the Lord. Your thing is no, your kids are no longer functioning in the in the Holy Spirit. You need to repent. You need to renounce. You need to cut the rope. You need to give the devil an affliction of it. And ask God, Lord, forgive me. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy, we work for darkness, Father God, every bad decision that we have made. Father God, shed light in the hearts of parents and, and churches, Lord, today, in the name of Jesus Christ. We break every stronghold. We break every demonic bondage of Halloween, Father God. We set the we give the the devil and eviction notice today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, right now in the Jesus Christ, every household that is under the, my voice today watching this video, it's not a coincidence. This is a divine appointment to cancel the devil and say yes to Jesus Christ over this demonic holiday. Lord Jesus Christ, set your people free. Open their hearts to see the demonic side of who Halloween is. And this is the devil's holiday. And we don't celebrate the devil. We celebrate Jesus Christ until he calls us home. In Jesus' name, amen.
books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works and the sea gave up the dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire.
When they heard this, they were pierced to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, each of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins.